and greatest of this series were the Alleghenies. Arriving just in time for World War II, the Alleghenies lived up to the superpower name. They could pull 160 coal cars weighing a total of 27 million pounds or could hit 60 miles an hour pulling long passenger trains loaded with soldiers. The Allegheny is virtually two locomotives in one. The front set of cylinders powers six drive wheels. The back set, another six. Each set of wheels can pivot independently, allowing the 76-foot-long locomotive to bend around curves. Railroaders call such engines articulated locomotives. The engineer sat on the right side of the large, roomy cab, while the fireman sat on the left. The fireman did not shovel coal, however. No human being could keep up with an Allegheny's appetite for fuel. Instead, the fireman operated a screw conveyor that moved coal from the tender to the firebox. The life of the wonderful Allegheny's was happy but short. In 1952, the CNL started replacing the great steamers with more economical diesels. By 1956, all of the Alleghenies were retired and were awaiting the scrapper's cutting torch. But number 1601, the second Allegheny built, was luckier than the rest. After traveling 407,000 miles for the CNO, it was donated to Henry Ford Museum and Greenfield Village. The museum's architects had never dreamed of an engine the size of an Allegheny. The steel frame of the railroad door had to be removed to allow number 1601 to squeeze through. Today, 1601 is the most photographed object in Henry Ford Museum, proof of our continuing fascination with superpowers.